This here is Chinese hot chili oil. Once paired with the correct Chinese dish, it'll be an explosion of flavor. That's why I'm wearing a burgundy shirt today. Not to be confused with this burgundy shirt. All right, before we begin, I just wanna let you know that this channel just surpassed 2,000 subscribers. And I just wanna thank each and every one of you. Okay, enough self-waking, let's get on to the recipe. First things first, grab yourself a medium to large sized bowl. Anything with steep sides should do. Then add about a cup and a half of Chinese chili flakes. You can pick this up at a Chinese grocery store. If not, I'll link some in the description. Then let's add a teaspoon and a half of salt. Now this part's optional, but if you wanna make it super authentic, add a quarter teaspoon of MSG. Then add a quick splash of Chinese black vinegar. Again, link in the description or Chinese market. Mix everything together. All right, set this to the side for now. All right, we took care of the chili part of the equation. Now for the oil. Add in one roughly chopped stalk of green onions. Four to six smashed cloves of garlic. You don't need to peel them, you just need to smash them. One cinnamon stick. Four star anise pods. And this is the most important, three tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorns. Now, before I add this, I should let you know these are red Sichuan peppercorns. Most of the Chinese oil recipes here on YouTube don't specify whether to use green or red Sichuan peppercorns. Well, here's a quick rundown. Green peppercorns have a more citrusy, acidic flavor, but they also are more numbing, while red peppercorns have a more fruity, earthy flavor and numb you less. Anyway, add three tablespoons of red Sichuan peppercorns to our pot. Now finally, oil. Now this should be obvious, but use a neutral tasting oil like canola or vegetable. I've seen some recipes call for sesame oil. Don't, it's too overpowering, it's gonna burn. Just stick with regular plain oil. I heard of an oil crisis, but this is ridiculous. So just add enough oil to cover. All right, take your pot and sit it over medium heat. We're doing this over medium heat because, well, believe it or not, there is such a thing as too hot. Too hot, the chilies will burn to a crisp, too cold, and we won't extract enough flavor out of our spices and aromatics. Now, as this heats up, keep an eye on everything and make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, once it starts sizzling like this, let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, after 10 minutes, kill the heat and pour our hot oil through a strainer. And this is why I asked you to get a big bowl. Watch. See how much that foamed up? That's why. Anyway, let this cool. And once the oil cools down, top it off on some dumplings or some stir-fried Chinese noodles. And once these two worlds collide, you'll realize Panda Express is nothing more than watered-down, whitewashed Chinese food. In fact, you should have known that Panda Express is whitewashed, watered-down Chinese food by now. What took you so long? This has been Jay's Gut in the Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. How many of you want to bet that there's some sort of butthurt loser in the comments section complaining about how I'm being a snob for knocking Panda Express? Because you know, Chinese food, authentic or not, is so expensive and hard to afford.